Hey guys, it's uh, Dennis here with a video. First upload, uh, just wanted to bring you guys a video of my uh, FK7 Civic that I actually picked up about a year ago. Um, brand new, fresh off the lot. Um, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to be a year in on this car. Uh, slowly been putting some touches and stuff like that on the car and uh, hopefully uh, take you guys on the journey with me as I uh, start to build this thing and uh, make it the way I want it to. So uh, yeah, let's jump into the video and if uh, you haven't subscribed or liked this video, please do. So first things first, I'm going to start off with the front. As you can see here, I've done the yellow fogs, it's just final wrap uh, from Pro Civic. Some simple stuff and then nothing in the headlights, the headlights come factory with the LEDs. And then moving on to the uh, emblem, I put on a Type R emblem. Call me out if you like, but I like the red touches. Uh, moving down the side, we have some uh, USR slash Depot side markers, which a lot of people may or may not like. My personal preference, I do like it. Um, I did my own uh, hand at trying to vinyl wrap this uh, gas cover here. Turned out pretty good. Um, it's on. It's been on there for a year, so I'm actually uh, this. I believe this is a 3M vinyl wrap, so. Uh, it's actually been pretty durable. First time ever wrapping something. Um, not the best job that you can probably see, but uh, I mean, it does the job for now. But it's first time doing a vinyl wrap ever. Um, and then we move down here and uh, we have some eBay side markers. Uh, they are sequential, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then we have our uh, stock muffler and everything like that just a simple resonator delete want a little more noise out of the car but we'll eventually be doing a custom uh, three inch exhaust on this thing uh, we are actually going just now to racing bees to pick up some parts for the car and uh yeah i'll show you show you guys what's under the hood so let's go ahead and do that all right so we're gonna pop the hood and probably my most favorite mod that i've done so far is the um, I'll show you guys in a second. Is our PRL SRI? Pretty nice touch. Lots of wishy noises. Everything else is stock for now. Uh, hopefully a K tuner in the near future. And definitely need some wheels and some drop because I can't be dealing with this monster truck height over here in Canada. Yeah, we uh, deal with a lot of snow most of the most of the year. So uh, yeah, right now we're just running some Michelin X ice. And uh, this actually came off of my old car, my old Mazda 3. Um, but you know what? It's been faring pretty good. I can't complain. Um, yeah, plans coming soon for some wheels and tires. Take it to the track. Um, this is a CVT as well. It is a sport touring hatch. And uh, yeah. So like you just heard me say too, we are going to jump over to my boys over at Racing Beast, pick up some parts and um, yeah i'll show you guys when we get there see ya all right guys so we just got to racing bees i'm just about to head inside and pick up this part and um i'm gonna see if i can place some more uh parts in order uh but we'll see uh depending on what happens um if they have it in stock or whatnot so anyhow racing bees let's go all right guys so we just picked up the part from racing bees uh pretty stoked about it they didn't have anything else that i really wanted that i was looking for here um as you can see the part is right there perfect so actually uh i believe j spec which is a performance uh store is actually close by here they're open right now so we're actually gonna go take a look let's go All right guys, so I just finished here at J-Spec. Uh, they didn't really have too much. Um, possibly might buy a set of wheels, we'll see. Not too fond of what they have though. So um, yeah, shout out my boy Eric though at J-Spec. Thanks man, you helped a lot, lots of information. I appreciate that bro. All right, so now we're gonna go get a bite to eat and then we're gonna go install this strut bar. All right, deuces. All right guys, so we are here at our favorite location. We will be in a strut bar from Racing Bees, and you're gonna need one simple tool, just a ratchet. Um, this is a ratchet, but it's also what is known as a torque wrench. 
don't use just this. I'll be using just this because this is the only thing I have right now. It's a DeWalt um, a wrench slash ratchet slash whatever the hell you want to call it. I know everywhere you go, there's always different names for it. But without further ado, let's open up this Racing Bees uh, strut bar. Alright guys, so we have the Racing Bees strut bar here. And we'll be installing it on our Civic, so let's go ahead and pop our hoods. The strut bar goes from there all the way to there. So we'll have to take off the end plates and uh, put the new ones on. Let's go. we have the bar on it's not bolted down yet or anything well this is what it looks like as you can see pretty nice so now we're just gonna throw on our bolts torque it down to 45 I say 40 pounds and you're good to go Now the strap bar is mounted and that's what she looks like. I also apologize for the wind. I also had a security guard come and uh, we were just having a chat, you know, shooting the shit. But uh, all in all, good. I like it. We'll now test the car out and see how it performs. And yeah, until next video guys, appreciate if uh, you guys stayed till the end. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.